What's up, you guys? FSC Railroad. You know, it's usually pretty convenient. Me and Jen are heading north again. We're a little north of Crivets. We're getting ready to take our side-by-side -side out again. Basically, 141, the highway we're on right here behind me, runs parallel to the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railroad. So it's real easy to find a train. We've seen, uh, I forget what unit it was, might be 502. He was doing some switching south of here. I didn't want to wait for him, so he got going. He was pointing northbound. Now here we got southbound. It's 501 and 502 coming at us right here. Well, boys and girls, let's let the show on the road. I was not expecting that. All right, well, on to the next train. Not sure what, not sure where or when. We are planning on playing with the UTV right around the Pembine area. So this line does go through there. So you never know. We might catch, what was that, 502 coming north, perhaps. Who knows? We'll see. Either way, let's go play with the sand car or mud car, whichever. By the way, we got to come up with a cool name for that thing. Jen thinks mud. I'm not sure about that. What's up, you guys? FSC Railroad. We got a train coming. I figured I'd take the day, make it a little interesting. We're a little north of the Nina Yard. I think this one's heading into Appleton or even up as far as Green Bay. Let's check it out. What you call these the logs in there? I think. Yeah, it's logs inside there. Wisconsin Central boxcar. another Wisconsin Central. He's on the farther east line. I'm not really sure where exactly that goes. Here's an interesting place I found.
Had to climb up on this big pile of rocks. Like all this. Just on the north end of the Nina yard. Well, maybe a little bit further than the north end. Might be a little south from the yard limit. We're just south of the Y. We were just leaving town and I saw this coming in. I heard him in on the scanner. I was hoping to get there in time. Wasn't sure where he was going to be. Going back here. Used to be able to drive through here. Then they're building like this retention pond over there. I don't know what building this is and there's this big rock pile and I struggle to get up top this puppy too let me tell you that's <laughs> a nice shot from basically it's bridge height basically
brand new box car right there. Not a single tag on it. I know some graffiti is cool looking. Sometimes it's a bit excessive. Uh, correct, GW4917, clear the need of control setting and switch line lock for the setting. Over. Wondering where he came from. He came down from Green Bay or if he came out from doing a switching job in Appleton. Take him to the bottom, we'll see where he up. I wonder. Leave in the comments, what do you like to see more of? Do you like to see me do more like trying to get the yard from the bridges, the high speed stuff, the low speed short line stuff, the ELS. What do you guys prefer? Leave a comment. Well, alrighty, boys and girls, I certainly was not expecting that today, nor this nice high perch on his rock pile, so I can get down without breaking something. <laughs> oh, man, he ain't going to be here long. But seriously, though, should I try to get some shots of switching from these bridges, or do you like the high-speed stuff? What do you guys like? You need to let me know in the comments. That'd be great. As always, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this thing. I'm trying to make it into something way bigger. I got big dreams between this and all my other channels that I got going on. FSC Trucking, FSC Truck Shop, FSC Speed Shop. I got big plans for all of them. But I need you guys to make them happen. So spread this stuff far and wide. All right, boys and girls, maybe now it's actually time to go home. <laughs>